Hey there guys, Mike here, Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. Collectione is back. And uh, today is a movies I love to rewatch episode. Um, I'm really digging these. Um, gotta, you know, just love rewatching these movies. And that's what it's all about. Movies you love to rewatch all the time. Even if it's on TV or whatever, you catch it, you just can't stop watching it. Um, just, you know, everybody's favorite movies, you know, I guess. But today I wanted to salute a movie. Uh, it's directed by William Wyler. Now, I did a, a William Wyler episode uh, about a month or two back. And uh, I did include this um, because he's, he's got so many good movies. I mean, I can't put every... If I put all his great movies and then talk about it, it could be a long, long episode. But, man, this is one of my favorite movies Again, saw this way back on TV, copied it, you know, I, I thought it was hilarious. It's still hilarious to this day. Uh, this is from 1935. Uh, it's a universal release. And uh, this is a movie called The Good Fairy. And uh, this is also available on Kino Blu-ray, which, uh, which is a restored print uh, which I'll probably upgrade to that one day because I do I do really do like watching this movie. Uh, it stars uh, Margaret Sullivan, uh, Herbert Marshall, and the great Oz himself, Frank Morgan. It, it's so hard to see Frank Morgan and hear his voice and not think of the the uh, wizard. You know, he plays the wizard in the Wizard of Oz and everything. Uh, but great performances all around. I mean, really, just really good. Uh, Margaret Sullivan was just on fire at this time uh, in the 30s. I mean, she she broke out like in, God, 33, 34, like Little Man What Now. He, he, she's worked with, you know, was it Frank Bazaji? God, what can Prozaghi? I can't even think of his name, God. Roger's going to... Roger's going to go crazy. I can't think, God, what is his name? I'll put it down here. But anyways, uh, you know, she worked with a lot of people. You know, she, um, I don't know if she was dating Jimmy Stewart at this time. I'm not really sure. But she, she was known as a real hellcat on the set. I mean, she, you know, one of those throwing temper tantrums and all that stuff. And, and you wouldn't think that by watching her in these movies. Because she always plays a very sweet, kind of meek uh, you know, person and stuff. I mean, one, one of the favorite movies that I like or love with her and Jimmy Stewart is an Ernest Lubitsch movie from 1940 uh, called The Shop Around the Corner. Now, that's another movie that I watch. A lot of times I watch it around the holidays, like Christmas and stuff. I just really love that movie. I mean, that's, it could be my favorite Lubitsch movie. Now, I haven't seen it everything by Lubitsch to really judge, but that's my favorite one now. Uh, but the good, back to The Good Fairy. The Good Fairy is uh, a movie that takes place in, what is it? Uh, well, what is it? It takes place in, uh, it's like, um, old part of Germany. God, I can't think of the name. But, you know, it's one of those little, like, Eastern European thing, you know, German. I'll, if I think about it, I'll spit it out. But anyways, uh, Takes Place uh, opens up with a, there's a all-girls orphanage. Uh, Margaret Sullivan's a little bit older. Uh, and then one day, uh, a, a studio or a theater owner, a movie theater owner, uh, played by Alan Hale, who... Um, who is uh, the skipper from Gilligan's Island's father. Uh, Alan Hale Jr. was on Gilligan's Island. Uh, but Alan Hale, he was big. He worked at Warner Brothers for years. He's in so many movies. Uh, and he's, he's great in this movie. He's funny there. got some funny scenes. So basically he comes there and he, he wants to basically hire her to, be, to work in the theater. And it's a big grand theater from the 20s and 30s where everyone wore it, you know, like a, you had like bellhop looking guys with that little hat and all this stuff. So she's kind of dressed up like that and she's waving or directing people to which side of the theater and, and everything. And she's so goofy because she's, she's always been in an orphanage. She doesn't know anything about 
the world out there and everything. She's very naive and everything. Uh, and everything. And then she, she meets this guy. Now, he, he, is, he is a waiter at, at this... The, or, well, no, they go to this club. Yeah, it's like a club, a restaurant. And uh, she meets this guy at the movie. She's annoying him. She's shining her flashlight in his eyes. And uh, he's, he's very like... Eh, I, I don't know if he was, would, would be a Cockney... Uh, like a Cockney accent. Uh, what, what's his name here? I mean... Uh, what is his name? Oh, Reginald Owen. He is hilarious in this movie. You know, Reginald Owen also, you know, in a lot of movies in the 30s and stuff. But she, but she, um, she befriends him. They end up meeting again at somewhere else, and they're just like, hey, let's go out to dinner. So they, so they go to this restaurant, and you know, and everything. And then uh, there, there's another night where she, you know, she's going there to meet this guy. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know if it's the, like a dating situation or what it is, but anyway, she's there. Uh, she runs into um, who does she? What is? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying not to tell everything, but you know. But anyway, she um, ends up. You know, this guy's helping her out. There's some scenes where her and Frank. You know, and then Frank Morgan is like very rich he owns every you know owns everything or something and he's very cool and he's he's wanting to take her out to dinner and and uh there's all this madcap stuff happening in the main restaurant part with reginald owen and margaret sullivan so so he wants to go we'll, we'll have our dinner in my room where there's privacy you know i mean i know if that was made today it would be of course it would be scandalous or something but th th this is there's you know he has no ulterior motives or anything he just wants to talk to her he's older and uh original owen is the waiter and then when he discovers that she's with him in there and stuff he's like get out of there you know he's he's giving her all these signals and it, it's just it's just so funny they work so well together and uh, frank morgan is great in this um what else can I say about it? Um, then you got, um, then you got what's his face? Um, Herbert Marshall uh, shows up. Now he is he is a small town lawyer, um, and everything. And they slowly fall in love with each other. You know, Frank Morgan's obviously too old for the Butlers too old. They're they're just kind of there to help her. You know, and uh, she meets this guy. And they fall in love, and da 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 da. Uh, but man, there is so many funny scenes in this. I mean, little set pieces, just lines. And, and the reason you remember some of those lines and a uh, script that sticks out to you because it was written by Preston Sturgis. Uh, now he, you know, of course, he would go on to be writer, producer, director um, at Paramount. I think starting in 1940, and he just did a whole decade of classics. Uh, which I highly recommend you check those out. Uh, but anyways, he he worked as a writer in in the early you know early to mid thirties, uh, kind of like Billy Wilder. He did the same thing, and they both started working at Paramount. You know, uh, but man, it's it's got some funny funny dialogue. Really cool. Uh, check this out. So this is the uh, DVD Universal Vault series. Um, like I you know, said earlier, I bought this probably years ago before the Blu-ray came out. There's a Blu-ray now, so I may upgrade one day if I find a good deal on it and everything. But yeah, really love this. I, I don't know if Roger Kirby, if you're watching this, uh, love his channel too. Check Roger Kirby's channel out. Um, but um, I think I think I talked about this in a comment one day. And we were talking about William Wilder. But yeah, if you haven't seen this, check this out. Roger, you're going to love it. Uh, so, anyways, there you go. Uh, the Good Fairy, 1935. It's got Frank Morgan. It's got a great cast. Uh, I, I'm really... I've seen the movie so many times, but when I just watched it recently, I really picked up on how funny Reginald Owen is as this butler, waiter guy. It's just, he's just so hilarious. Uh, so, there you go, guys. Give me comments. What do you what do you think about this? What do you think about this whole series, period? I mean, what do you, what do you think about that? Um, anyways, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
helps the algorithm somehow. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some other videos I have. So until next time, guys, I'm Mike. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.